Okay, now we build the geometry for our TV. So I start here with a rectangle spline. This should be my profile spline. I type in for the width 5 cm and in height 3 cm. I rename this to profile. Now I create my path spline. I choose again the rectangle spline and bring it underneath the profile spline. I rename this to path. For the width I choose here 80 cm and for the height 45 cm. Ok, I zoom in here a bit. Now I create a sweep nerve object. Select both splines and bring it underneath the sweep nerve object. Ok, in the next step I create again a cube and type in here for the size in x 80 cm size in y 45 cm and for the set size 3 cm. I zoom in here a bit and bring the new cube a bit here to the back, like so. Now I switch to the right view and make here some finer adjustments. I think this is looking ok. Alright. Perfect. Now we build the stand feet. I start again with a cube. And for the dimensions from this cube, I type in an x, let us say 25 cm or 20 cm, for y 35 cm and in z direction 2 cm. This is the upper part from the stand feet. I bring this here a bit to the right, like so. I zoom in here a bit closer. Ok, now I bring it down. Alright, I think this will work here. I go back to the perspective view. I go around my object. Alright, now we build the lower part. I start again with a cube. And for the dimension I choose in x 40 cm and in y 1,5 cm or 1.5 cm and in z 17 centimeters. I bring it down. I go into the right view and place it correctly. I bring it a bit more to the right side. Maybe like so. Let me take a look later if this is looking good or not. Ok. I go back to the perspective view. Hmm, I think I will bring this a bit more to the front again. This is looking better. Perfect. And now we have created the geometry from the TV. So, please recreate now this by yourself. I select now all the elements and with Alt-G I bring this inside a null object and rename the null object to TV. Do not forget to save the scene. See you in the next lecture. Bye.